Hey everybody, this is Nemesis with another video review. This is Transformers Legends LG42 God Bomber. Yes, from Takar Tomy. This is the long-awaited uh, add-on release for uh, Super Jinrai. And yes, it looks a lot like the G1 version too. But before we get to all of that, we are going to look a quick look at the package that came in. Which is, well, typical Legends packaging. You know, reds, lots of reds and grays and whatnot, including the grid work. A little cutout here for the headmaster, who I notice is actually unnamed this time. He also got a bit of artwork. Pretty nice artwork, although that looks a bit like dull surprise, in my opinion. And, you know, of course, lots of writing I cannot actually read because I do not know Japanese. And, of course, on the side, you got more artwork. Uh, you know, on the side. On the back, you got a whole bunch of, like, his different modes including hey look you can combine with Jinrai and more Japanese I don't know and his modes again with more stuff on the top you got the logo and the headmaster and him the headmaster plugging on and on the bottom you have a whole bunch of writing which again I can't read including safety warnings I know that because there's a thing of guy eating a square so that is the package and in the package along with the figure comes with his instructions including again the same nice artwork and all that stuff and on the back of those, you also have more writing, his different modes, and the tech specs, if you want to take a look at those. And in the within, there's no, more than the instructions, there's also a comic. In more than just two pages, it's actually a six-page comic. Which, I don't know, I only can vaguely understand what's going on, but stuff's going on. And, of course, there's, within, when you unfold it all, there is the instructions within the inside, all that stuff. So, that is what comes with him, not much else. Except for plastic, lots of like plastic trays and stuff. But yes, this is again the God Bomber. And he actually rolls really well. Even on this uh, little bit of rough surface here. And this is the, here's the thing he is a very much an abstract truck esque box. He's not really resembling anything particularly. I do like the silver paint up here rather than chrome on the original. I do like the silver paint here. I like the blue windows. You can probably see there's someone in there, but we'll get to him in a little bit. Uh, the, the the blues are nice. I like the white stripe on the here on the wings. You even got tail lights picked out, although in yellow, not red. Which well, that doesn't quite make sense. But whatever. And a lot of this about this makes doesn't make sense. I also like the yellow detailing up here. There's just lots of little things and the striping and the Autobot symbol. It just that's a little things picked out really nice. Oh, I even forgot the little t little tiny itty bitty use almost useless headlights. But yeah, I mean that's the thing is like you can see back here, you can clearly see robot parts and stuff. It's not the it's not exactly uh the greatest. You can it, it again, it's not this is not why you're buying God Bomber though. And oh yeah, the tur the gun can go up although it doesn't like to hold because of how it's designed, so you have to kind of go way up before it even tries to hold and even then it's super loose. You can also angle these guttons up a little bit if you want. And you know, when I say super loose, I mean super loose. And of course, now it's not proving my point. Figures, whatever. It's there's a lot about this guy's kind of loose, and you'll see it as time goes on. There's also within, as you, we saw earlier, this opens up, and there's also missile pods in there, which is kind of neat. But he also has his headmaster or Titan Master, whatever you want to call him. Very tiny dude. Very tiny. Unnamed too. Got a little bit of black paint down there in his boots. He's got a bit of red paint there. Otherwise unpainted and of course... He's like every other Titan Master, Headmaster dude. You know, he can move his arms forward and back a little bit. He can move him a little bit outward. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And his knee, you know, his hips can move forward and a little bit back. And his knees can bend for transformation and for, I guess, sitting down and whatnot. So there's that. And just as a, I guess a quick little thing, here he is next to the tight, uh, you know, Jinrai. The little Jinrai, so that's them next to each other if you want to compare them. So that's that. That's fine. They look good. But, yeah, we'll just uh, hit this guy off to the side for now. Get back to God Bomber proper. Close that back up. And as a quick comparison, because I did bring it up earlier. Um, here's his uh, G1 self. And, yeah, I mean, you can see that some proportions are different. You can see he's a bit shorter overall. 
He's much more compact. All those wings are way larger. His gun's not no longer off center. This has the chrome, which I prefer this. I prefer silver paint over chrome because this thing is fingerprints all over it. And no matter how much I wipe it down. And also this has stickers. This does not. I'm glad about that. But yeah, it's it's they're both. You can see it's just kind of an abstract boxy truck thing, which doesn't really make any sense. It has no real world analog. And it's just kind of silly looking. The all sole purpose for this is to... Well, he has one purpose specifically you were buying him for, so it's, it's just kind of a uh, whatever alt mode. Nothing special, really. But he does combine with Jinrai here in his alt mode. And what you do to do that, you want to take this, there's a little red thing right here. You just twist it around till it's facing out. It's just a little, it's a little clip right there. It's a little clip. And that goes in right there in the truck. And the instructions tell you you have to, you know, split these apart. You don't actually have to. It can uh, just clip in like that. And it holds pretty well um, for the most part. Uh, just know that it will, um, if you give enough force, it will pop back out. So uh, just be careful. But, you know, it all rolls together. You can see that. You can see. Problem is this table is not very large, so he just barely fits. But there he rolls. He rolls. And so you can have the big old uh, heh, convoy there. See what I did there? I'm sorry. I'm not actually sorry, though. But yeah, so he does combine with Jinrai in this. And, well, we'll get to the other way he does combines later. He does have another mode that the original G1 does not. And that would be, of course, something that all these uh, leader class figures in the line have, which is a base mode, which we'll kind of take a look at real quick right now, even though it's... Um, very forgettable, and most people won't even notice. But uh, if you want to get to that real quick, you, what you got to do is you got to take these little panels right here and kind of pull them out. They'll be clipped in multiple places. You just gotta, but you gotta get them out of there. And then on the back, you wanna undo the feet. And yeah, that, that I'm gonna get that gun out of the way because it'll, yeah, it'll probably pop off anyway. Take these feet though, and just kind of move them down. And then you take the whole bottom half here and just rotate just enough so that's nice and detached. And then you. Pull these off, and you probably notice those ports and pe um, pegs look very familiar, especially if you've been collecting the minor wars. Anyway, from there, you take the legs, fold these down like that, take the these parts and just kind of fold them however you wish, kind of out of the way, as long as you can slide, sit flat like that. Do the same on this one. And then, from there, take the main body here, take the wings, fold them down, as such, and then you'll notice there's these little little tabs. What they do is they'll go over right here on the legs. They'll cut those go right here over it, clip over top, like so. If uh, it will actually cooperate, clip over top of these and do the same on this side. Clip over top, like so. I'll have to watch out for that. And there you go. And then you open this part like this. Put them, put the gun back on. It fell off, which it probably did. You might also experience other things falling off. Put that over top if it'll actually line up and get on there. And that's your base mode. It's, um, yeah, even for the base modes in this line, it's not the greatest. It really is. It's just, it's, who cares? It's, you know, it's just, it's very, very basic. It's just kind of a, okay, yeah, that's a thing. It's, it's forgettable. No one's going to, almost no one's going to probably use it anyway, except for that once kind of a, oh, okay, that's a thing. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and go back to vehicle mode real quick. All right, so now it's back in the vehicle mode. We are going to go ahead and transform him to robot mode. And theoretically, unlike the original one, which had to pat parts form to do so, you can get most of this done without parts forming, except for the gun here. You have to pull this off because just of how that works. So but anyway, from here, what you got to do is you got to, once again, un untab these panels from the side. 
and it's going to loosen all that up. And then what you here, this is where things can get a little tricky and it's a good chance things start falling off. You got to take these these parts and pull them off and to the side like so. This whole, this whole assembly, including this red bit back here, will come off to the side. And you'll probably also want to take those ratchets and kind of move them out of the way. And this is where th these parts will like to fall off a lot. Okay, from there you can kind of start moving things out of the way and also start standing them up because you can unclip the feet from back here and move them like all the way down like that and unfold the entire thing. And that gets them standing and because of so we're going to go ahead and move the camera up a tad. Anyway, back here, what you want to do is also open this up again and then take this back panel right here and move it like that. So this port is up and then you close it back up. You can't, you have to open this up. You cannot rotate this while this is closed. And from there, make sure just kind of well, fold it down correctly. Make sure these red panels are still, uh, make sure these red panels are still flat against there. And then you can fold this all up as such. Make sure these, these will pop up. These blue parts will be up a little bit. And then line it up. And then you can clip these, these tabs on the side. We'll now tab into here on the red. Like so. So we'll actually, we go, tabs in. And tabs in. And at the shoulders, you want to take the do, move these wings like this, move the wings, and then fold them back. Else, you want to hold on to the arms when doing so. Fold those back. It's got adjusting right there. And then from here, inside the arms, see the hand. And you might have to unfold it. You're gonna to have to unfold it a bit. Take the hands out, put it back down. And then take this part and just fold it in. And you'll notice that the wings did come down with that. That's a kind of a problem. We'll get to that in a bit. Do the same on this side. Open that up. Take the hand out. Close that back in. Close that back up and then fold those in. And then from here, you want to take the gun here. Pop this back part off. This is actually the helmet. And of course, take the Titan Master and fold them up such and I misaligned this uh, plug-in hold on just a second I gotta realign that so uh, hold on and make sure to line that up properly like unlike I did me shame on me that's part of the reason why I was having such a hard time with the tabs yep see there we go that just fell off and that will be a common thing of oh it fell off again And just, re uh, thankfully it's easy to reattach, just wrap around and boom. Anyway, take the head, plug it in to the port, and take the helmet, slide it over the top of the head, and then of course take the gun here and plug it in right here. I prefer the left shoulder, although you can do either shoulder if you want, and there you go. You now have God Bomber in robot mode. And it looks good. The robot mode looks pretty good. I mean, a lot of it compacts down pretty well. I mean, you can do whatever with this. I like to just fold it up against the back like that. It, you know, folds down and stuff. And yeah, you got God Bomber in his robot mode, and he is pretty tall. I mean, just for comparison's sake, uh, I mean, he is, a, he is a leader class toy, and so thus he is roughly the same height as Jinrai here. Jinrai, whose feet decided to unfold. Okay. Yep. That will come into play later, too. But, uh, yeah, he's right by the same height as Jinrai. More or less. Man. Jinrai does not want to go together right now. There we go. Yeah, he's more or less the same height as Jinrai. You can see that roughly. Roughly the same height. Is that? And yeah, if you notice, his arm comes off. God, God Bomber on his own does not hold together very well. You've got the miss, this little missile launcher here, which 
yeah, it doesn't hold very well. You can, I mean, you can angle it up a bit, but this, there's stuff that gets in the way. But he does, the, this cannon does have a thing. You notice probably the blade. You can slide out. It's a nice silver blade. And then from there, the piece right here, you take these two side things and pop those out. Pop the little, pop the little rocket thing off. By the way, mine um, has some pretty bad... Uh, yeah, mine doesn't look great. That's unfortunate. That's a little blemish. But yeah, you can put that back together. And then you have to can this cannon by itself, and then you can pop it back in, and now it can actually angle back and hold. The problem is the uh, holds has such a high angle, it kind of looks a little silly, and also can flop right back down easily. But those pieces right there that came out of it, they can go together. There's a little tab on the sword right here, which can slot into this little hole, and you got a sword. Boom, sword. And you can hold it in his hand, which right there, you got to get the thumb out of the way. It can go up and there's a little slot here on the sword, which can tab into the handle, like much like many, many of the, uh, kind of reverse version of the master, a lot of the masterpiece, uh, weapons. And it's, yeah, just hooked in underneath, of course, the arm. Oy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's the thing. That's the big problem, though, is you're constantly... When he's in robot mode, you're constantly fighting these arms, specifically. They do not like to stay on. They're more or less held together by wishful thinking and unicorn farts. And it's, that's really a shame. That's It's because he looks great. And that's the thing, is... There you go, got it tabbed in, and then you can close the fingers around it. And he's got a sword, which the original did not have. That's the thing. He looks great. He doesn't hold together very well. I mean, he's, he's still got the standard stuff. Like, his he can look, you know, left and right on his head and stuff. And they kind of wobble a little bit. But thanks to the helmet, it can't move too much. You got shoulders, which, again, you kind of... You have to hold this otherwise because you notice the wings just kind of move with it. So you have to hold the wings in place. And then you can move, you know... Can, arm can go up and down at the shoulder. can go outward on a very tight ratchet which caused the sword to come out, which I'm just going to put off to the side, just get out of the way. And that just came off too. See, that's the thing. <laughs> he doesn't like to hold together. And he's got a super tight ratchet there, which, yay, but on the other hand, it's making the whole thing fall apart. He's got a really tight bicep swivel. His elbows, about 90 degrees or so. And his hands, they're poseable hands. They can go inward thanks to the transformation. They can swivel, which is nice. The thumb is on a ball joint, so it can move up and down and up outward and all that stuff, and his fingers can close. All is one piece. He does not have a waist, thanks, to, again, the way he transforms. There is no waist. His hips can move out about that far before they hit the wheels. They can go forward on a ratchet all the way. And go back about that far. He does have a double jointed knee, thanks to his transformation. Is that lower and the upper one's ratchet, the lower one's friction. So he does have a joint, double jointed knee. And feet, he's got heels which can move forward, his toes can move down. So you can do that, use that. And he's got ankle tilts, pretty good ones too. So again, yeah, his posability is pretty nice, but the, uh, the, again, the problem is simply he likes to fall apart. He doesn't hold together very well. I mean, right now the arm's trying to come off. He he doesn't hold together, and that's a bit of a disappointment. It really is. It's a shame. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back on just because. Yeah, and yeah, just uh, although visually though, you can compare him again. Um, here he is with his G1 self, which yeah, the G1 ones. I think they're about the same height. Give or take. I mean, if you add in the gun, then the G1 has the height advantage, but... Yeah, in the gun, the, the G1 has the height advantage, but... Yeah. They're about the same... He's about the same size as the original guy. And he's still... Both of them have hollow arms and stuff. But, it's, you know, it's nice to have this detail and stuff. And there is nice detailing with the red crotch, the Autobot symbol, the red on... The, vent, the red vents on the legs... Uh, still got the yellow on the arms, thanks to the... And yeah, it, so it, it's a nice color scheme. It's just, again, he as a robot, he falls apart super easily. Oh, I did mention this earlier. Uh, 
yeah, you notice the legs are combiner ports. So why don't we grab a combiner? I mean, I got Defensor here, so hold on just a second while I get his legs off. That sounds morbid out of context. But there we go. You get some legs. And also lower the camera a little bit. Just for this part. To the lower. Right, so. Yeah, as we see, you can just split off right above the knee. And then, from there, you can actually take these legs and just slot them in. Just slot them in. And I got the uh, perfect effect uh, feet on here, so he should still, he'll still have ankle tilts. Just if this will go in, I don't know why. Why is it being stubborn? There we go. All right. So he can have a uh, Combiner Wars legs if you want. They are bigger and bulkier than his normal legs. Yeah, it gives, it gives him a bit of a height, extra height boost, but, and it looks a little just silly. So, because, while we're here, might as well, hold on. Yeah, this looks absolutely ridiculous, but you gotta see it. Um, here is Savensor with the uh, God Bomber's legs. Yeah, that's, uh, that looks absurd. I love it. It, it It's ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, he, he's compatible with Combiner Wars figures. It, it, they even have it in the comic. He's com the, his legs are also combiner, compatible compatible with the uh, Combiner Wars guys. But yeah, it, it's silly. It's a nice little play pattern thing. But yeah, that's it's cool. But of course, um, we're not here for that particularly. We are here. For a very specific reason. There is a very specific reason you buy God Bomber. And that is for Jinrai. So let's go ahead and uh, just, well, because we already got him part of, partially apart anyway. Why don't we just go ahead and start re doing remaining disassembly. So yeah, take his head off. His legs are already off. You got to do that. Take the shoulder cans off. And then you also got to take these arm pieces, which they'll fall off anyway. So you're good there. And there you go. You got him in a whole bunch of pieces. So start off with the feet, because, well, that's the most obvious place, because that's where you're going to start on Jinrai. You take these feet, you move them down like this, you fold the feet down like that, and that is, well, that's one foot done. You're good, that will be his left foot. Same with this one, fold that down, and that's a foot. You'll worry about those a little bit later. And those are the feet. Now Jinrai here, what you want to do... There's not a whole lot you need to prepare on this one, on this part. What you got to do is take the heels and move them up. The, the instructions tell you to move them up all the way in. I would highly recommend not doing that. You want to kind of put them here so that they kind of bump into the back of that. And the reason for that is, well, Jinrai has weak ankles. Everyone knows this. So uh, this helps keep them standing upright. And then from here, there's a bunch of clips. You got this clip on this side. You got this thing, those will clip in right here and right here on Jinrai. And you just kind of at an angle come in like this, and there you go, foot attached. Same with this side, and angle, foot attached. And around the back, take these combiner ports, or they're not combiner ports, but take these leg pieces and just kind of fold them up like this, kind of. Again, the instructions tell you to put them all the way up. I would just strongly advise not doing that. This helps by doing holding up like this. This helps keep him stable so that he doesn't fall over, especially later on when we actually start act, um, adding more to him. So that's uh, Jinrai with his or Jinrai with his boots on, and we'll move. Go ahead and move up a bit because we're going to go to the next part. And that is, well, take these these arms, stand them down as such, and fold these panels back here down just to get those ready. And from here, take the arm pieces and just flatten them out, including this. Make sure this is, there's a double hinge here, make sure it's totally flattened out like such. And then also take this hand, 
pull the thumb in under the palm and fold this in like that. That's ready to go. Before you notice, okay, before it's like this with this part up, this panel's up above. What you want to do is you want to actually fold this panel here. Actually, yeah, see, you want to fold it. This is for God mo bomber mode and stuff. This is for the armor mode. Make sure to do it that way or it'll not fit and you'll be frustrated. Anyway, take this this right here. It's a peg right here that goes into that hole on his arm. Like so. And it wraps around. And this part right here, there's a little thing here that will clip right here into this little uh, slot. And it clips in right there. It might, might be uh, difficult sometimes. And then you just take that panel, wrap it around, and you pull this up. And it holds actually holds in really well. And that's one arm done. It's actually pretty simple. Just going to do the same on this other side real quick. Flatten out the panels. Put the fold the hand away. Why is that clicking? That didn't click before. Whatever. And do the same thing. Just tab it in or peg it in. Put the panel in underneath. Panel, panel, panels. Fold all the panels up and you now have his arms done. And he's already looking a lot bulkier in general, which is a good thing. And then, okay. From here, the torso. What you want to do here is we'll split and you'll want to untab the, the shoulders again. Untab those shoulders and then split it all the way apart. And then these, these red panels right here need to come out. So do that. So it's all like this. You also want to take this and open this up and fold that back down as such. And there you go. Now from here, another thing about those red panels you might notice is uh, there is there's a little red hook tab thing right here. It hasn't broken on. No one's reported there's broken yet, but um, it's a little small. And for uh, God Bomber mode and whatnot, that's got to go in this pass through this little slot. So be careful of that. It's got to pass through that. And that's also got to hook around on Jinrai himself. So uh, just be mindful of that when you transform this guy. Anyway, from there, and then you want to take this, 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 the torso here and split it in half. And those actually, that's one of the few things that sticks together really good on God Bomber. You want to split that in half. And then from there, you want to, let's see. Yeah, you'll want to straighten these things parts out. And you rotate here. You rotate the torso along here. That's right. Okay. Take, rotate along there. Take the wing pieces. Right. You take the you take this, you fold it inside of the into the inside of the torso. Take the wings, fold them down like that, and they fold it out like such. You take the shoulders and just kind of well, you don't want to make sure. There, that folds down like that, all like that. And you take these shoulders and kind of move them down and you rotate the bicep so it's all folded around like this. Like that, and then you take this leg piece and just fold it up and that's one half done. Do the same thing on this side. Yeah, it actually might be easier if you move, you move the arm up like that. And you fold it in to, inward to the, the torso piece. You, move, you rotate the torso on this little blue part right here. Rotate that. Then you rotate, then you rotate the wing around, fold it outward like that, and then take the shoulder, rotate it down, rotate the biceps, fold that up like that, click that in, and rotate the leg piece up, and you got it like this. And that's two pieces done. Right? Right. Here's the thing. It will tell you at this point to peg them together at this point. I would highly recommend you wait to peg them together until after it's on Jinrai. It's just a little easier to hook them in. And here we're going to try to do this all on camera on this really big dude. Right. 
Right. So, let's see if I can do this. Right, so, this part right here, you want to be careful because he's falling over. You kind of want to hook this this red thing underneath. There's also a little slot right here that will go over this tab. You kind of want to kind of hook it around and over the top of that. And this is why I recommend doing this before you put them together, the two tabs together. This makes this part a tiny bit easier. Of course, this is also easier if you're not doing it with a camera in front of you. And you just kind of do that. See him on the other side, hook underneath and just kind of there. And then you can take it back here and tap those together. That locks the backpack into place. And then he's falling over, so I'm holding onto him really tightly right now. I see what happened is, yeah. And then these take these blue arms, they'll kind of clip in over the top. You take this whole, the chest piece, and it'll clip on over the front, fold the waist or the waist armor down and there you got Jinrai who is also starting to fall apart in his legs hold on just a second and there now you got super Jinrai and he is quite large he's so large that actually there we go and that's Super Jinrai. <laughs> As you can see, um, he's big. He's very big. Right, and of course, he does also have his accessories which you're supposed to put on, including the guns, which will actually go way down here on his ankles. Or his now giant ankles. They plug, tab in, plug in right there on each side. How you want to do it is up to you. I prefer that way doing things. They can plug in on the sides right there. And his uh, his guns that he normally carries around can peg on right there behind his head on those pegs. There's pegs right here on there on each side of his head. And you just peg those on. You want to do it at an angle so it's not like bumping into his head. But now also it's a very tight fit. Very tight. But they'll get on there. And there are his guns up above. Up above his head. Oh, and of course, back here, the helmet for God. God Bomber can actually go in right here. It's very loose, but it kind of holds okay. Not the greatest connection, but it's an okay, it's an okay connection. It will fall off at the drop of a hat too. So just be aware of that. You can take, you know, the God Bomber Titan Master and put them wherever. You can put them inside the the chest piece. I prefer to put it in the gun because the gun can open, which is something I forgot to do. But yeah, this gun can open. The Titan Master can go in there. There's pegs and a seat. You can sit them down and close that up. And of course, you take that. And there's ports on either side here and here. I put it on the right shoulder because that's the proper shoulder. And that just came off, of course. There we go. And plug it in, and I just spread his legs way out. Right. And then, of course, the sword. He can, once again, once you, you know, pre-assemble it, he can just hold that. It slides right in. Just like that. And, yeah, that's Super Jinrai. Or God Jinrai, I should say, sorry. 
And yes, he is very large. He is very, very large. Indeed. Uh, he, yeah, he gains... Um, his pose ability is more or less the same as God Genra or Super Genrise. Um, he's just... Some of the place, places are just slightly different. Like, the ankles are now way up, as you notice. His ankles are way up his legs now, compared to before. But otherwise, his pose ability is identical. There is no hindrances or anything thanks to the armor. They're very actually pretty clever about some of this stuff, which is good. Um, just for sake, sake of comparison, uh, size-wise, just to give you an idea of just how large this guy is, uh, here he is next to... Again, uh, Combiner Wars Defense Sword here. And, yeah, I'm just reminder that uh, Jinrai here is bow-legged, and uh, Defense Sword is trying to fall front forward. But yeah, you can see um, Jinrai is bow-legged, and he's still almost head-to-head -head with him. He has a wide leg stance, I should say, not bow-legged. But he's got a very wide stance compared to Defense Sword, and he's still very tall compared to him. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, God Jinrai is very, very large. And he's also kind of falling backwards a bit, so it's a thing. Um, another comparison, of course, you have to do this. Here he is with his original G1 self, who's also quite large. And, yeah, the G1 version is still taller, I think. Again, though, the new one is uh, falling apart right now. Again. Yeah, if you can get it situated, he's almost as tall, but not quite, unfortunately. Not quite, but he's almost. And his sword came out because that's what it does. It's not. It does not hold very well. And also, if you note, so yeah, this sword just doesn't hold very well. That's the really big downside. Everything else actually in this mode holds together super tight. Once, you know, you're actually, you know, got it all pegged together. You're not doing it behind a camera. You know, you're not doing it behind a camera like a doofus. But everything mostly holds tight except for this sword. This sword likes to come out really easily. He doesn't hold it super well. It's super loose and floppy in his um, hand. Again, the cannon still has the same problem of... It can kind of hold in one position, but anything in between totally up like that and all the way down like that, it just doesn't... It just flops down. It might be fixable. I'm not sure yet. I haven't experimented too much but he does look amazing and that's the thing and that's why you're buying god bomber is for this this is why you're buying god bomber because i'll be honest god bomber's alt mode is abstract and kind of lame his robot mode looks good but it likes to fall apart at the drop of a hat and then there's this this is in his base mode is who cares and this and this is it this is why you buy god bomber is for God Jinrai. And as God Jin armor for God Jinrai, he is fantastic. This thing looks amazing. And once you get it all set up, once you get it all, you know, got a nice pose, because again, that's the problem. The big problem here is uh, Super Jinrai's um, ankles are st almost, most of them are very weak. So he has a tendency, because of God Bomber's, um, the weight the God Bomber backpack adds, he has a tendency to fall backwards even easier. So you can tighten those up or position those as those little things at the back and use those kind of as supports and yeah, and you can do that, and he looks great. He'll look great on the shelf. He's big and imposing. And if you have the P, you know, the perfect effect kit, you can light up his eyes. Although under my uh, recording lights, they're not, you don't see it too super well, but they are lit up. And also you can now actually look up, unlike the uh, normal head, which can't do that. But yeah, again, all the posability is still the same. Sword still falls out. Yeah, all that stuff the same. He's although he's just got super high ankles. It's a great looking set. So there's the thing about God Bomber. If if you are some weird person I've never even heard of who actually wants God Bomber just for God Bomber, pass. He's a very mediocre figure on his own. On by himself, he is a very mediocre figure. No way around that. No way around that. He's He's super mediocre by himself. He, he he would not if he didn't combine with Super Jinrai, he'd be an easy pass. But because of this, because of the God Jinrai com combination, he is amazing. So if you already have Super Jinrai, or you can get the Magnus Prime from the Titans Return box set, 
he's well worth it. And it's also, quite frankly, if you are if you don't have either one of them and you kind of missed out and you don't want to spend a ton of money on a Super Jinrai, you can also get the Takara box set coming up, which is uh, the Jinrai and God Bomber, Minerva, and I don't remember the other Titan Master. But yeah, it comes with two extra Titan Master, and apparently this is, this is going to be chromed or something, which... I, it's easy makes that an easy pass for me, especially since I already have this. But he is, it's a very, once you get them all combined and such, he's solid. He's amazing looking. This is why you buy God, this is why you buy the God Bomber is for this mode. So mediocre figure on his own. Amazing when combined with Jinrai. That's pretty much it. That is why you're buying him. If you're buying him for anything else, don't bother. I don't know who's going to be like that, but just in case, don't bother if it's on his own. But if you already have Jinrai, it looks amazing. If you're someone who doesn't care about God Jinrai, then it's an easy pass. Then it's a pass. If you don't care about God Jinrai, it's just a waste of money for you. But if you do care about it like I do, this is going to be amazing on your shelf. Go get it. If you do, if you already have Super Jinrai and you don't have God Bomber yet, go get God Bomber. If you have no intention of getting Super Jinrai or you or don't care about God Jinrai... Don't just pass. It's it's a seventy dollar. Um, it's a mediocre figure that's only elevated by its um, armor uh, ability. So that is that for um, this review. I've rambled quite a bit on this guy. I just really like how he looks, and yeah. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. This was uh, Takara Legends LG Forty Two God Bomber now combined with Super Jinrai, and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>